So I want to go over a little bit more information about curves. If I expand my top view and let's look at uh, this control point uh, curve tool. If I expand this you'll see that there's uh, control point curves and interpolate points. So on this one you can kind of see in the in the diagram of the tool icon that when we select this uh, curve tool and um, control point curve, it's asking for the start of the curve. And if I click here, and I'm going to turn my ortho off uh, for a second um, so that I can then just kind of click in other areas. And I'm just going to click like so. And you can kind of see these four points that I've clicked. and it's generating this this curve here. This is our result. Um, if I look at the next curve option, interpolate curve, uh, interpolate points. I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to click roughly in the same kind of areas that I clicked before. Um, only this time, you'll see that it's actually drawing the curve where I'm where I'm I'm clicking. So this kind of introduces the use of, of control points and control polygons, which we can uh, show by turning on uh, the show object um, control points uh, with this tool. So uh, if we click show object control points, and then I click on this and uh, curve and this curve and press enter, You'll see that uh, in both cases, uh, when we're drawing curves, it's um, in this case we were clicking the points. We were basically drawing the control polygon that defines this curve. And with the um, other option, the um, interpolate points curve, we're basically clicking where we want the curve to pass through, and it's generating the control polygon. So. Um, Within Rhino, um, in previous segments, I've been talking about lines and polylines as curves, and that's because any um, any whether whether we're talking about lines or polylines or circles or um, polygons, these are all just considered different types of of curve objects. So. For example, if I look at this uh, control point curve again, and I'm just going to kind of click three times to show uh, this example of a curve that has a three point, um, three control points, and we have this kind of simple kind of control polygon. And so if I expand this tool here, you could see that I can begin to add or insert control points, or I can also uh, remove control points. I can insert knots into a line or remove knots. So if I look at this remove control point, and I, and I select that, and then I remove this uh, one of these three points, um, you'll see that I end up with a line. So in Rhino, uh, a line or line segment is a curve that has two control points. So um, this kind of introduces the topic of, of NURBS modeling, uh, which stands for non-uniform rational B-splines. And in Rhino, uh, curve objects are, are B-splines uh, with the additional option of having weights on the uh, control points, um, which makes them NURBS curves.